donning his appropriate cowboy hat, we have Keith Stangland. Please give it up for Mr. Dr. Keith Stangland. He taught at Harding, he taught at Kilman from 2005 to 2012 in then Austin's Graduate School of Theology. At Harding, we like to say he came and he stayed. Even when it's not true, it, it sounds good, but it's got a good sound to it, okay? He does teach at the Harding School of Theology part-time uh, and Professor of Historical Theology, and he's the Director of the Center for Christian Studies, Dr. Keith Stanglin. Here we go. You don't need me to introduce for you Dr. Daniel Odin. Here he is. Let's hear it for Dr. Daniel Odin. He's been known to tickle the ivories of the keyboard, but today he's working on the tambourine. And here, if he plays his cards just right, the cowbell might be in order. We'll have to see. Not today. I don't, uh, some other time. We have Jeff Crane joining us today. He plays keyboards, and he is the musical director. Dr. Jeff Crane joining us today. Jeff is actually an MN grad from Harding, and he has a PhD in humanities from Faulkner University. He is the president and CEO of Likewise College, a Christian community college for corrections, and he directs Conversational Christianity, a resource for equipping and enhancing ministry. You may know him better, though, as Miles' dad. So let's give it up. Speaking of Miles, he's, he's killing it there on bass guitar. He has stepped it. We've had several Bible majors step in over the years, and Miles has stepped all over. We appreciate that, Miles. For the ladies out there, Miles likes pimento cheese, raw steak, long walks along the beach, and you'll have to ask him for the rest yourself. Lee Edwards normally joins us. There's a contract dispute. It got ugly. Don't ask. You can check. You can check the websites. It got ugly. We also have Mark Farley, Dr. Mark Farley, joining us on lead guitar. Dr. Farley is a 1994 grad. He was a double major in Bible and accounting. It can be done. Greek and accounting at the same time. Uh, he got his DBA, he taught in COBA from 2016 to 2019, and he's a professor of finance at the University of Tennessee, Martin. And, uh, did I get that right? I, I, my notes are good. I got them from Wikipedia. Thank you, Wikipedia. Uh, he and Jeff Cray have played music together since high school. So, that is cool. And I'm done. Hold on, hold on. Here's more. More. Do you want to go up there with me? Go back up there. Keep them from up with me.
but I'm supposed to introduce everyone else, so let me do that. We've had some communication difficulties at Harding University recently. Our, one of our faculty members, an emeritus professor playing rhythm guitar, is Tom Alexander, T.A., as we like to call him, the Magnitude Lounge. Give it up for T.A., come on, give it up. You may have seen Tom around the building. He's there more than some of us who are salaried. It's, he's wonderful. He's a former dean of the College of the Bible and Ministry. He began teaching Harding in, actually I don't have it in my notes. T.A.? 1978, give it up for T.A. Yeah. We want to salute another professor emeritus who couldn't be with us. Uh, Dr. Dale Manor couldn't be with us. He's joined us many times in the past. He's not able to join us. He was for 24 years professor of Bible and Archaeology, and he's still director of the Linda Smith Museum of Biblical Archaeology. You might have seen him around, uh, so give it up for Dr. Dale Manor. Woo! Woo! We can't be here. We're also missing Mike McGalliard this year, professor of physical therapy. Sometimes we've had to recruit from outside our faculty for lead guitar. Mike joined us after Steve Gibson, uh, who finished his master, moved away. If you've seen the famous video of the first performance of McIntyre 150, that's Steve Gibson. Let's give it up also for a person you might have heard of, Mr. Dr. Professor Jim Burry. an original band member and after 22 years at Harding he's soon to be ex-professor of Bible and Greek but he'll always be professor of Greek in my heart. <laughs> he's a longtime fan of the Beatles and uh, he's he's not so devoted that he's unwilling to turn their songs into parodies and risk playing them poorly. Thank you for that gift. Thank you for that gift. Uh, we mentioned uh, Professor Odin earlier should mention that uh, he, he deserves a full introduction, though. He teaches Old Testament Hebrew at Harding, has done that since 2012. I realize you can't see him, so I'll slide over. Uh, his son, John, has in fact joined us in the past for an infamous performance at the Bible Majors Retreat. How many of you, some of you were there. Some of you there at the infamous Bible Majors Retreat? Pleasant Valley. Pleasant Valley. Okay, it was four years ago. Never mind. Things cycle really fast when you get as old as we are. Anyway, it's an infamous performance. If you don't know that word is, there's a commentary in a movie called The Three Amigos. You should check it out. It's good finals week reading. We also have Devin Swindle on lead vocals. Let's give it up for Dr. Swindle. Everyone contributes something to this group, but there wouldn't be any group if not for Dr. Swindle. He's a 98 undergrad in Bible. He's been teaching here since 05 as an adjunct and full-time since 2008. He's also the preacher at Highway Church. He's the frontman of the Not A Band that, that the diminished faculties are. He leads, he's a complicated guy. He's got a double life. He actually has a triple life, I've heard, as Duke Silver, uh, jazz saxophonist. Is that, I don't know, you can, you can correct that if that's wrong. Our next song. We've written tributes at various points for faculty and administrators, but never before have we uh, honored, never before this song, an office administrator. Whether or not you know the Beatles' Lady Madonna, we hope you will enjoy our tribute to Miss Juana. For this song, we'd like to invite our two deans to join us, both of whom have done vocals in the past. Come on up, deans. <laughs> Daily is one working. 
facts wrong actually <laughs> we've recruited various people in the past for special parts in particular songs some of you were here two years ago when Tim Westbrook broke our hearts with the violin version of yesterday <laughs> just in a were you there did you see it I'm still a little torn about it. Jason Darden provided the key element to our parody of shake it off blame the prop don't blame him for everything about the song our biggest coup however was getting Scott Adair to sing classroom prison blues which he did every bit as well as the man in black himself, Johnny Cash. You can check these out on YouTube. Today we want to invite another uh, original member back from 2012 to share one of his many talents. Former Harding University Bible professor, now the minister at Westside Church, diminished faculty's original keyboardist and sometimes cowbellist, Nathan Guy will join us for back in the USSR, bragging that you just retired. <laughs> In the last couple of years, we've had several faculty members retired. And this year, it's, it's Jim Burry, the leader of our little band. And if Burry leaves, the band is over. So, who's our Yoko Ono? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Students don't like any teacher old and mean. Sixty, get you way past prime. Now they say the gray hair guy has triggered me. Man, you picked the perfect time. Yeah, bring it sense if you're new to Harding University. Harding University used to have something called a dress code. It's long gone, but we had it. 
It included the rule that faculty male could not have hair that descended below the collar. Uh, it's from Leviticus 28. <laughs> and, and no one's sure why that just went away. It just suddenly vanished until now. Ladies and gentlemen, there is new photographic evidence of what caused Harding University to revise its faculty hair length policy. We have it right here for the first time ever. It's worth waiting for. This is our new photographic evidence. Of what killed it? It was none other than then Mr. Max Sandlin at the University of Dayton. This photo was taken there, and immediately thereafter, Harding University eliminated the policy. Rather than cut his glorious mane of hair, Harding University said, we will simply cut the faculty handbook. It was incredible. Never been seen before or since. The very first song on the Beatles' first album was I Saw Her Standing There. Maybe this version could be our first song on our first album. One, two, three, four! Well, it was just such a scene in the heart.
Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I know your blood sugar's low, so I'm going to give you the two words that you're looking for right now. On and core. Those are the two words you're looking for right now. I don't know the words. Ladies and gentlemen, technical difficulties. Give it up for technical difficulties. All right.